Hi, I'm John Papa. Welcome back to part two of creating a mean app with Azure's Cosmos DB. Let's get started. When we get started, we have to install the Angular CLI. So I've done that in advance, but this is the command you could use if you'd like to do that as well. Once it's there, we're going to run the Angular CLI to create a new project. I'm going to call mine Angular Cosmos DB. And we give it a few different options, like I want that source code, source directory, that's SD, to go into the source client folder. And I'm going to use a minimal setup. Once it's done, we'll go ahead and CD into that folder. Even better, we can open it right up. And here we are inside of VS Code. Now the next step is we want to create a server folder. We've got our client, but Angular doesn't know what kind of server we have. We're going to go ahead and create our own. In that server folder, we're going to create a file called index.js. And this is where we're going to use Node and Express. And before we can use those, we have to make sure that we install them. So we'll type in npm install express and body parser. Body parser is going to be helpful for us so we can parse the JSON bodies as we pass them in through our APIs. We'll come back over to VS Code, and inside of that index.js file, we can start typing our code out. First, we're going to create express. We'll pull in the body parser, and we'll use a built-in feature called path. And then we'll set up a little bit of variables to make it easier to find where our code is located, like the root. We'll set up a port, and then we'll crank up express. Now we have to tell the app how to use the middleware that we're going to be using to serve up the server. So we're going to create our body parser JSON function here, and that's going to parse all the JSON out if there is any. We're also going to use the body parser for URL encoding. And then we're going to make sure that we serve everything that's in the dist folder. So all that's going to be static content, so we'll use express static and the folder called dist, because that's where we're going to put all of our output. Now we'll put a placeholder here for serving our routes, so we'll come back to that in just a moment. But then afterwards, we're going to have to serve up the actual application. So we're going to do a get on anything that falls through that doesn't match our dist folder or what's in our API routes. We we'll use this lambda, and then it's going to use the res send file. We're going to automatically pass up and serve up the index HTML like this. Finally, we're going to crank up our server using app listen, and then we're going to use another lambda here to just basically tell us that, yeah, the port's alive. If we flip back over to terminal, we should be able to see that the npm packages were installed for express and body parser. Great. Now we have to get back to those API routes. So to do that, we're going to move our code over into another file for the routes themselves. We're going to call this routes.js. I'm going to pull out that line of code. We're also going to refer to the express router. And then we're going to set that router up here. Say, OK, go ahead and get the heroes. We're going to send back some JSON. And for now, we're just going to explicitly configure this to have an ID of 10, property called name. And we'll pass back Star-Lord. And he's going to have a saying. And what's that saying going to be? Oh, yeah. We'll get real data later once we get working with Cosmos DB. And for now, we just need to expose and export. Our and we come back over here. We're going to need another const. And that's going to get our routes. And then we'll pop in an API to use it. Then we need to run it. So we'll go click this bug with the slash through it. And we want to create a configuration. We'll stretch this over, click on the gear, go to node. Now by default, it would work if it was in the root where we wanted to launch everything. But we are not. So we're going to go to source server index.js. And then we should be able to press the green button. It should run. And then after it runs, we can open up something like Postman. And we can hit this API called heroes. And we hit it. And there we can see it running. And the next step would be for us to connect our Angular app to the Node and Express app, and then on our way to talking with Cosmos DB. Stay tuned for the next video in the series.